Hey guys, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. This is She's Lauren Ashley, and this week I wanted to do a look that is really kind of a boho, gypsy, hippie kind of look. Um, and it's using shades of red, which is a, is more of a trend right now, and it's kind of a difficult color to work with. Um, a lot of people associate it with being ill, um, but I, I ha had an inspiration to do this this week, and um, it's a fun, different look, and I haven't seen it very often, so I thought I'd ch try it out for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, I have some new lights, so I'm just trying them out. So hopefully the video looks a lot better, at least as far as clarity and brightness goes. Um, so let me know. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. Um, I For uh, shadow this week, I'm going to use a new palette that I got. It's NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And it has... Um, 13 colors in it. I got it from Ulta online and um, it's got a lot of good colors in it. Really nice primary color selection too and some of them are a little shimmery. So this week um, none of the individual colors don't has, have names as far as they don't have listed. Um, so, what I'm going to use is, first, I'm going to start from the top, and I'm going to use this top, um, corner red. This is, looks like a pure red. It's got a shimmery gold in it. It looks really pretty, and I'm going to start by going, I'm going to make kind of like a C around my eyes and on the top of my cheekbones. Um, I do already have on foundation and under eye concealer and mascara. So um, this one, you can start off either way, but I think since I'm starting, um, since the color's going around on my face over, like, over what you, your base makeup, um, I think we can go ahead and just start with the red. Usually I start without any foundation or anything on in case I get any like extra powder fallout. Um, but this week I'm gonna do it the opposite way. Um, the brush that I'm gonna use first with this red is um, it's a Mary Kay Cream Eye Color Brush. You can see it. So I'm going to start on, I'm not going to put it on my main, the main, the shadow, I'm not going to put it on the main part of my lids. I'm going to start on the innermost corner in the area closer to the brow bone. I'm going to sweep it across. This look should be pretty quick and it doesn't need to look perfect. It's kind of, you know, it's sort of just like a boho chic kind of a art, very artistic look so it really doesn't need to be perfect and that's another reason why I really didn't mind it about I figured you know it's probably best just to have on my concealer already my foundation everything and just put this over top of it as an extra pop so, there's the red. I was really excited when I found this palette. Um, it is smaller compared to a lot of palettes that are out there that are popular, but the colors, there's a lot of options, and it was only like 16 bucks, which is so cheap, especially compared to a lot of the other palettes that are out there. Um, obviously, if they're bigger, you have more product, but this seems great for what you get. So I'm excited to use the other colors and explore and play with it more. Um, so I'm going to keep going 
just to make it a little more vivid red this is a really good true red which is a trend right now but it's all about creative looks with my videos so that's what I wanted to, to try out especially with this new palette So get it all the way down to like the outer corner of your eye, bring it down. And then I'm going to do my other eye. So I've done both eyes, as you can see now, um, with the first color, with the red. And the, I'm really happy with the red shade from this palette. It's a really nice shade of red. So next I'm going to use a bigger brush. Continuing this boho chic artsy kind of look, I'm going to continue down my cheek. And kind of bring this color around. apple of your cheek. If smiling helps you, then I mean, I would recommend it. Or just think of making a C around your face with the color. And now I'm actually using, I'm going to use a combination of this burnt orange color. And I'm going to actually use some of this pinky color and mix them on my cheeks. I might even add, incorporate some of the red as I go. I'm actually now using, uh, using Mary Kay retractable blush brush, which is awesome. You can make it any size blush you need, and that's super awesome, in my opinion. And you're just filling it in really close to your eye, too because it's a joint eye blush, kind of smoky red art look. Bring it in close to your eye, really. It accentuates your cheekbones and your eyes. And I'm gonna include some of the red, because I think redder is better for this. And just blend, you know, if you get something a little messy, again, it's not a problem for this look. It's quick and it's fun so really just trying to incorporate and blend the red around your cheeks and your eyes 
creating a nice overlap, blending the colors, and it also cr really creating a gradation of the red down to your cheeks. That's really the best way I think you can explain it. very flushed, very flushed look. So you can see it starts in the innermost corner of your eye, goes around, create an overlap gradation of color on the, the top, the apple of your cheek, and close to your eyes too. Went ahead and I finished filling in the red um, on my other eye and on my down from my cheek, like the outer corner of my eye down my cheek to the apple of my cheek and closer into um, towards my eyes as well. And, uh, keep it away from your nose. And if you do, like I kind of got it closer to my nose. So I went with like, you know, your whatever powder you use um, for your natural, for your face, um, just fill it in. I took some beige powder and I filled it in and I kind of blended in the cheek too. Just kind of blend it wherever it's sort of not sitting right but again it's kind of it's an art artsy messy experimental look boho chic so I've said that like 10 times now this look isn't for everybody and it's fun but it's just fun and um, it's almost done it's pretty quick uh, so then after you fill in your cheeks and the rest of your eyes I'll just do a quick side to side Then, uh, go ahead with um, a black liner. If you're into doing like the colorful eyebrow, this is sort of a variation from that. Kind of going underneath your eyebrow. Um, what I'm using for eyeliner is Mary Kay's Liquid Eyeliner and it has a nice felt tip. This is an older version, but they have a new version that just came out that has a felt tip and it's very pointed and really easy to use. So just, um, you can opt in or out for the black liner, um, but if you do it, do, I think a cat eye looks nice with this. And a lot of times for a cat eye, uh, I like to draw the top part first, if you can see that, and then fill it in. So you've made like a layout, you could even like dab the liner on. See I kind of messed up, but like you can just sort of fill it in. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my other eye with eyeliner as a cat eye.
So the liner's done, the red, everything is done. Now to finish up with a lip, I'm gonna use Inklot, their lipstick in, it's called 445, it's a matte lipstick. And this is just a really minimal tawny kind of a lip color. And this is such a dry formula of lipstick that I don't really, I'm just going to blot it on and I don't, it's almost, it's just a little bit darker than my lips, than my natural lip color. So I don't really feel like I need a liner. Okay, I'm using again Inklot Matte Lipstick and 445. Any color that matches your lips is good for this look, I think, to keep the lip minimal. And this is it, it's all done, it's pretty fast. Um, again, play with it and don't worry about it being perfect. Mine isn't right now, but for the sake of just making it just an artistic, out there, kind of funky look. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial this week and let me know what, uh, I'd love to hear comments, questions. Um, so don't forget to subscribe um, and leave comments and um, stay tuned. Every Tuesday I'll do another look, uh, makeup inspiration, something, I usually like to do something different with my makeup, um, even if it's a different kind of lipstick. Um, with the tutorials, um, I like to do a combination. So something that you can do um, that is, if it's a little bit different, it kind of shows you how to go about it in a practical way. Um, so thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you for another Tutorial Tuesday. Until next time.